A couple of Western countries extend their political, economic, moral and military support to Israel. As this is the case, we see that the Muslim countries are not sufficient enough to extend the necessary reaction to Israel and this is the reason why we have come to this point on the field. On the basis of international law and the United Nations Charter, we should undertake the coercive measures, especially against those who commit genocide in Palestine. So in order to achieve it, we should work in solidarity and togetherness. Our different opinions shouldn't prevent us from working for our joint cause. And our Palestinian brothers and sisters hopefully can establish unity among them themselves. And we are also encouraging it. My dear brothers and sisters, as the Islamic countries, we should lead the steps to be taken against Israel. Before anything else, arms embargo should be imposed on Israel and the commercial relations with Israel should be seized and unless Israel stops carrying out those attacks we should really marginalize uh, Israel and isolate Israel in the international community fifty two countries and two international organizations have already supported us for our initiative to put an end to uh, the weapon sales to Israel. Starting with the member countries of the Organization of Islamic Co uh, Cooperation, we should also promote all the countries in the world to intervene to the litigation process initiated at the International Criminal Court against Israel. As the Republic of Turkey, we have intervened in this uh, court case and we should undertake all the concrete steps in order to put additional pressure to the Netanyahu government. Up until today, 50,000 Palestinians, 70% of which are comprised of women and children, have fallen martyr as a result of the attacks carried out by Israel in Gaza. Among those martyrs, there are political leaders and our brothers and sisters who have been striving for a ceasefire in the region. Once again, I would like to pray for the souls of all our martyrs and I wish speedy recovery to those who have been injured. Netanyahu government on one side increases the tensions against the Iranian uh, government. On the other hand, the Netanyahu government continues to attack the Lebanon. Israel cannot show any tolerance even to the dispatch of the humanitarian aid to Gaza and all those humanitarian aid dispatched so far is still waiting in Egypt because of the efforts and endeavors of Israel. On one side we are focusing in order to make sure that a ceasefire is uh, brokered but on the other hand it is really important for us to find immediate solutions for dispatching the humanitarian aid to Gaza. Up until today, Turkey has dispatched more than 84,000 humanitarian aid to Gaza and we are ready to dispatch even more than all those uh, sanctions uh, are uplifted. Israel prohibited the activities of UNRWA. As a result, Israel said no to a two-state solution and Israel is aiming to prevent the Palestinians going back to their homeland. What Israel is aiming for is to settle in Gaza and put an end to the Palestinian existence in the Western Bank, eventually occupying all those regions. So we see that step by step Israel is trying to achieve it and we should prevent it. So far, adopted the 
verdict given by the International uh, Criminal Court against Israel on 17th of September and we should closely follow the implementation of this verdict. My dear brothers and sisters, it is impossible to have a two-state solution by convincing the uh, current Israeli government. So under such conditions, we should promote and encourage more countries to recognize the state of Palestine. As of 7th of October, another nine countries have already recognized the state of Palestine. And we should, first of all, uh, break this resistance in the United Nations Security Council and hopefully the day would come where we would see the full-fledged membership of the State of Palestine to the United Nations General Assembly. On 13th and 31st of October, an international alliance summit has been organized in Riyadh and more than 90 countries have attended this summit and this is quite promising. The uh, OIC and Arab League should speak with one voice and one heart pertaining to the Palestinian cause. That is what I, be, I have been praying for my God. And I hope and pray that the decisions adopted in the summit would be followed by all of the member countries. As I conclude my remarks, I hope and pray that the outcome of this summit hopefully would be auspicious for the Palestinian people and the people of Lebanon. And I would like to thank everyone who contributed to the organization of this summit. Thank you very much.